President Trump is currently at a dinner with the Australian Prime Minister here in New York City. He's expected to speak soon, and of course, we'll take you back there the minute that he does. But first, another week brings another embarrassing video for the commercial airline industry. This time, the offender appears to be Delta, which kicked an entire family off when they objected to giving up a seat for their two year old. Watch. I'm not going to abide. Then they, can, then they can remove me off the flight. You and your wife will be in jail and your kids will be in jail. Okay. So my kid, wait, so my wife, oh, we're going to be in jail and my wife, kids are going to be what? It's a federal offense if you don't abide by it. I bought that seat. Yep, you're going to jail. Just the latest, a great many incidents where the airlines treat their passengers like farm animals. Looks like the Korean Parliament, but it's not. It's commercial air travel in America. What exactly is going on here? Joining us now, Fox Business anchor Cheryl Cassoni, who once worked as a flight attendant, and one of our favorite writers in the world, Mark Stein. Thank you to you both, Mark. You you've lived all around the world. You've got perspective on airlines. Are ours especially bad? I think they're the worst in the world. You know, I have a reputation. <laughs> no no, no disrespect to Shell. I have a reputation as a notorious <laughs> Islamophobe, second to none. But I would rather Royal Jordanian or Emirates or Qatar took over every single U.S. airline. This should. This should embarrass uh, uh, Americans. They should be ashamed of themselves. What happened to all the don't tread on me t shirts? I keep seeing at all the airports. You get in the plane and they tread all over you. No, <laughs> Mark, come on. So you think come Delta's on. better than Emirates? Is that what you think? No, I wouldn't say that. No, I heard Emirates is actually a lovely airline. Very beautiful airline. Uh, but no, I mean, look, we've got a war in the skies. But you know, you got, it's each of these incidents, there's always a backstory. And if you look at that family on the Delta flight that was right. leaving Hawaii, the backstory is they didn't have the rights to that seat because the name on the ticket did not match the child's name. Now, right. if you look at the entire video, which I've watched twice, you see that there was some mistakes made by the gate agent, but it was human error. You see a lot of apologizing, trying to work with the guy. He just didn't want to get off the plane. He was actually wrong in this situation. An airline ticket and a passenger name have to match. But, okay, that I think, that, I think that's, that's a good but point. But in every and one of these issues, there's, been a, there's, been, there's a backstory. David okay. Dow, another backstory. But here's what's different. So if you have a dispute in a restaurant, if you mm. order French soup, you know, French toast and they right. bring you pancakes, mm -hmm. no one goes to jail and no one gets beaten up. It seems to accelerate yeah. pretty quickly on airlines. It's no? called the yeah. FAA, folks. It's called the FAA. Well, it's also and the, there's a reason that we have but one. There is, but the reason is that this is actually, to be partisan about it for a moment, this is the most regulated aspect of American life. And this is what, if Bernie Sanders and Nancy Pelosi had their way, life would be like this on the ground. It's the airline cabin is the most hyper regulated aspect of American life and you have no rights. If you want to use the bathroom you have rights. If you'd like you a have diet right. coke. That's not right, no, Mark. No, That's not correct. Not, you have you... rights as a passenger. It's called the passenger bill of rights. It is actually <laughs> no, a real thing. A, look when when I no, when I go to a point. restaurant, I don't no, need but, a restaurant. But no, bill but of you, rights. when you sign, when you buy an airline ticket, guys, there's a there's a it's called contract of carriage and if you agree to the terms on the ticket, it is there. It's 36,000 pages long, and they're but, going to but, shorten but, it. But also, but, but why? Okay, uh, I buy all of that, and it's different <laughs> because you're in a metal tube in the sky and well, all that stuff. Do you want an angry but, passenger in your metal no, tube? No, you don't. But, you, but when you feet. see a flight attendant say, "Would you move?" No, I won't. You're going to jail. Well, right. That seems pretty authoritarian, well, right? Well, if for you a, listen to the woman's voice, the, the gate agent, who I think it was a supervisor, the, the Delta case, she said, "She's like, look, this is how it's going to go down." They tried to coax him off the plane, coax him off the plane, and he just wouldn't leave. And so finally, they came down to those last two mm -hmm. options. It's not, I'm not saying it's right. And every incident has been different. Certainly, I don't think that that American Airlines flight attendant meant to hit a woman with two 15 month old toddlers in her hand with her own no, but, stroller. But this I mean, happen. but that was a bad situation. If you, if you, go, if you go 
that was bad. If I you agree. go and buy a blue cardigan and uh, you come back late and said, oh, I I'd like a red one, the, 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 the store clerk doesn't say, well, we got this 36,000 page cardigan purchaser's <laughs> bill of rights. And if you get to page 35,437, uh, you're screwed. You're going to be wearing that red cardigan for the I next think, 20 years and I you're going to like it. And if you complain, we'll punch gentlemen. you in the face yeah, and charge yeah. you with a felony. And they, they just uh, say, to hell with it. Give her, the, the man that just says, give her the blue cardigan and get her out of here. Well, what about that? That's such a good point. Why don't you say, you know what? Your, your kid can sit in the seat. We're not going to send you to prison. <laughs> that's so, in a paraphrase, that's kind of what happened. But they were being very, they were, again, trying to coax that passenger up. But can I make a point here, guys? Look, thousands of flights every day take off and land safely with no incident. And the, we, but now with, uh, with phones, with smartphones, everyone right. wants their YouTube mm. moment. And I'm sorry, but who was videotaping that entire incident no, on the that's, Delta that's flight? A Give me a point, break. But where, wh I don't see any videos coming off Emirates or Singapore Airlines. No, like or this. Qantas, uh, or as the Australian oh, Prime Minister would, uh, the Australian would tell you. <laughs> but but it's, there's actually a serious point here. You know, on 9-11, on uh, a guy with bo guys with box cutters killed thousands of people. That's because everybody was following the 1970s uh, airline hijack procedures and did as they were told. They did not act as free-thinking individuals, except on Flight 93. That was the only one where freeborn citizens actually acted like freeborn citizens. But there citizens. are rules in place, and manuals that's in the place, Mark, of the day. but there are manuals in place, rules in place that the flight crew is trained on for your okay, safety. You're going to have to put your tray table back person. to its full and locked up right You know position. what? I bet you're that guy you know what? Plane. I want you to put your bag under the front right. of your seat. Okay? There's nothing on the tray table anyway. They ended cabin service in 1973. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> My favorite segment in a while. Mark Cheryl, thank you.